this is this is one of many areas where Minnesota needs re redesigned. We need to start with the question, not how much, but what for? What are the outcomes that we want to achieve? What are we trying to accomplish? And you hit it on the nose. We need students coming out of 12th grade who are prepared for success. We need more people in Minnesota with degrees after high school, two and four years. And the challenge is that we keep looking at education as a series of silos. Enough. We need to look at education as a seamless system, cradle to grave. We need to invest in early learning. We need to make sure that at the, the K-12 level, we have teachers in charge of the classrooms. Not Education Minnesota, but teachers in charge of the classrooms who are held accountable to standards. We need to start changing some seniority rules. You know, I mentioned in, in the meeting earlier, um, the, the Hennepin, Anoka Hennepin School District wanted a waiver for 28 slots out of 2,800 students to save some critical programs. Couldn't get it. We can't accept that. We can't afford that. We need to make sure we're investing in our two-year schools and our four-year schools. We need to invest in research at the university and other four-year schools as a separate line item. Next year, we will have a new chancellor of Minskew, a new president of the university, and a new governor. If we don't use that as an opportunity to have a statewide discussion about what we need from education and higher education in particular, shame on us. What a wasted opportunity. We need to make these investments by starting with what do we want to achieve, what's the outcome, and then working there. And in a lot of these areas, because we know the challenges of education in Minnesota, we know the challenges of a $6 billion shortfall. It is leadership that will be in demand. It is a governor who is going to need to set the agenda and then be the advocate. A governor who, look, if you had a dispute between two warring parties, you don't bring in a mediator who is vested in one side or the other. You bring in somebody who can build bridges, who has the experience, who can say, this is how we're going to build consensus. This is our common ground. This is how we move forward.